Hello and welcome back to iXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and we are continuing on with our circles unit here for the iXL sets of problems. Uh, today we'll be doing U10, which has to do with angles uh, within inscribed right triangles. Now remember, the word inscribed just means written inside. So these are triangles that are written inside the circle. They are inscribed right triangles. Now, the other part of that that you should notice is the word right, uh, making right triangles. So the reason why uh, that's important is this IXL is kind of easy. Uh, if you know the triangle angle sum theorem, which is that all three angles of a triangle have to add up to 180 degrees, then this is going to be a breeze for you. So I already have the problem here. Let me erase my work from earlier. Okay. So as I just implied from earlier, um, all of these triangles have to do with right angles. So right here, angle G is going to be our right angle, making this a right triangle. And the problem is asking us for angle F. So it wants us to figure out what this angle is right here. Well, okay, if we know this angle E is 37 and G is 90, it's the right angle, then what's left over uh, for F if they all have to add up to 180? So we'll do 37 plus 90 plus F equals 180. So 37 plus 90 is 127 plus F equals 180. So we have 127 minus 127. Great. Cross that out. So we're left with F equals 53. Okay, that's it. We just found angle F to be 53. So we'll come over here, type in 53, and bam, that is right. Okay, what is angle S? Same exact thing. We know Q is 34, we know R is a right angle, so we just add all of them up, and we have 180 degrees. Uh, what's next? Okay, same type of problem, except they throw in some algebra in there for you, so I'll just do this one real quick, just for some algebra practice. Okay, again, all three angles have to add up to 180, and you know that this is a right triangle, so our angle right here, U, is a 90 degree angle which means all three angles, 2x plus 56 plus 90, it's the right angle, equals 180 degrees. Cool. Okay, we'll bring down the common terms. 2x plus 56 plus 90 is 146, which is equal to 180. Okay, to get the x by itself, we gotta get rid of the 146. So 146 and 146 from both sides. Just leaves us with 2x equals 180 minus 146 is 34. And then to get x by itself, divide both sides by two. And that just leaves us with x equals 17. Come back here, 17 degrees, that is correct. Okay, same problem there. Um, same problem here, ooh, except this is a right angle, but a right triangle, but it's also a different kind of triangle at the same time. So, um, right here we have a triangle and it appears that two of its sides, so this side right here, and this side right here, so UV and TV, are congruent, right? Because of these tick marks, we know they're congruent or they're the same length. They're equal, they're the same. So what kind of triangle has two sides that are the same? Well, that would be an isosceles triangle, right? And what's beautiful about isosceles triangles is not only do they have two equal sides, they also have two equal angles. And so since we know angle V right here is our 90 degree angle, it's our right angle, right? We know that already. That means we automatically know that angle U and angle T are gonna be equal. So if U is X minus 48, that means T is gonna be X minus 48 as well. Okay, now all three of them have to add up to 180, so we will do it 
that way. So x minus 48 plus x minus 48 plus 90 equals 180. So we'll add like terms. So x plus x is 2x. Negative 48 minus 48 is going to be a minus 96 plus our 90 equals 180. Okay, we'll bring down the 2x. Minus 96 plus 90 is going to be minus 6, which equals 180. Okay, now to get x by itself, we'll add 6 to both sides. So we have 2x equals 180 plus 6 is 186. And then we will divide by 2 both sides to get x by itself. So half of 186 is just going to be 93. So we'll go back here, type in 93. And there we go. Okay, this is also an isosceles triangle. Same deal, just set them equal to each other. Okay, or I'm sorry, yeah, they're equal to each other. Same deal here, you're gonna add all three of these up to equal 180. And that's it. Like I said, pretty easy, pretty short video. Um, so try hard, and I'll catch you later on the next IXL tutorial video. Take care and goodbye.